Host as always, came back time today. We're taking a look at a real quick theory, a real cool one that I found on my favorite Reddit over on Reddit.com. But this one is about bubble bass, and bubble bass has a connection to the Krusty Krab. Now, if you don't remember anything about the one episode, um, basically he comes in, orders Krabby Patty, um, challenges SpongeBob's cooking prowess, and basically he has a whole disdain for uh, the whole Krusty Krab, including Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob and everyone involved at the Krusty Krab. You can tell he does not like them or anything they stand for. And if you guys know anything about Spongebob, he takes his fry cooking super seriously. This is probably one of the things he concentrates most on in the show is how good of a fry cook he is. And it's just one of the integral parts of the show. Now he takes it, like I said, very seriously. And Bubble Bass comes in saying a lot of things. He comes in challenging him. He comes in ordering his big long order. He comes in and he says, you know, I need this, I need that, I need that. And you can kind of get the sense of maybe he used to work here. And that's maybe that's why he's disgruntled with them is maybe because he used to work there and was either fired for some point or was let go and replaced by Spongebob, who is a better fry cook, so he's a little bit butthurt about it. So he goes in there and he decides that he needs to inspect Spongebob's work. He's going to take a look at it. Is it, is it up to par to his standards? You know, is it as good as I used to make it? Is it as good as it could be? You know, the kind of things like that that he would be a little bit butthurt about. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the evidence we have for this. Now, like I said earlier, he does order a very, very complicated order and there's some jargon that is about fry, fry cooking. Let me guess, tiny, a small salad. I'll take a double, triple bossy deluxe on a raft, 4x4 four four animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. We serve food here, sir. So, like I said, by using that kind of language, he's showing everyone around there that he knows the jargon, he knows the fry cook game. He is just as competent. He's trying to prove that he is better, that he was wrongfully fired or wrongfully let go from the Krusty Krab. Now, another piece of evidence to point out is how when he asked for his money back, um, there's actually a point in the episode where he asked Mr. Krabs for his money back. There's a guarantee on the menu. It's really small. I couldn't find a good picture of it, though. But um, who else would know that? It's hidden on the menu. Only employees would know about that because Mr. Mr. Krabs is being such a cheapskate that he writes it super small on the so on the board so no one could see it, that only employees would know about it. So he had to have known about this because he's employee. Now, third off, which is the biggest piece of evidence in my opinion, is that he looks the part. He looks the part of a f over f overweight fry cook. He wears tank tops, he's dirty, he's greasy, he's unclean. He, you tell he looks like a fry cook. Um, couple that with, together with the rest of the evidence and all signs clearly point to Bubble Bass formerly being an employee of the Krusty Krab. So that's basically all there is to this theory, guys. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on this down in the comment section. Make sure you guys hit that like button. As always, hit that 500 likes. I'll drop out next week's theory a day early for you guys. Um, make sure you guys see the secret word in the comment section as well. So I know you guys made it all the way to the end of the video. Today's word of the video is classroom. So make sure you guys go ahead and drop that in the comment section. Also, make review your comments. Also, subscribe if you guys are new around here. As always, guys, take it easy and gain the fuck on. Remember, that's always KMAC time somewhere. Until next time, guys, take it easy and peace out.